Establishing their Body Manda, Volume 6, Chapter 2, Sutra. Ananda said to the Buddha, Wound honored one, enveloped in the first commons and surpassed compassionate instruction, my mind has already become enlightened, and I know how to cultivate and be certified to the path beyond learning. But for those who cultivate in the final age and want to establish a Bodhimanda, how do they secure the boundaries in accord with the rules of purity of the Buddha, the wound honored one? Commentary After Ananda heard what the Buddha had said, he thought to ask about how to secure the boundaries and establish the Bodhimanda. Ananda said to the Buddha, Wound or not one, enveloped in the first commons and surpassed compassionate instruction, my mind has already become enlightened, and I know how to cultivate and be certified to the path beyond learning. I can accomplish the karma in the path of fourth stage ahadship and beyond. I am capable of this, but for those who cultivate in the final age and want to establish a bodhimanda, how do they secure the boundaries in accord with the rules of purity of the Buddha, the wound honored one? In the future, in the Dharma ending age, there will be people who want to set up this kind of bodhimanda. How do they secure the boundaries? How do they accord with your pure rules in doing it, Buddha? Sutra, the Buddha said to Ananda, if there are people in the Dharma ending age who wish to establish a bodhimanda, they should first find a powerful white ox in snowy mountains, one which is the lush and fertile sweet smelling grasses of the mountain. Since such an ox also drinks only the pure water of the snowy mountains, its excrement will be very fine. They can take that excrement, mix it with chandana, and plaster the ground with it. Commentary Shakyamuni Buddha, having heard Ananda ask about the method for securing the boundaries in accord with the Buddha's rule, said to Ananda, If there are people in the Dharma ending age who wish to establish a Bodhimanda, they should first find a powerful white ox in snowy mountains, one which is the lush and fertile sweet-smelling grasses of the mountain, since such an ox also drinks only the pure water of the snowy mountains. Its excrement will be very fine. They can take that excrement, mix it with the tranana, and plaster the ground with it. The grasses eaten by the ox are fragrant, Fragrant and so is excrement can be mixed with powdered chandana incense for smearing on the ground. Sutra. If it is not in the snowy mountains, the ox excrement will stink and cannot be used to smear the ground. In that case, select a level place, dig down five feet or so, and use that yellow earth. Commentary. If it is not the snowy mountains, the ops excrement will stink. If the ops does not reside in snowy mountains, it will smell bad and be impure, and so its excrement cannot be used to smear on the ground. In that case, select a level place, dig down five feet or so, and use that yellow earth. In that case, you should select a flat place, dig down about five feet, and take the yellow earth at that level. Sutra, mix it with chandana incense, sinking in water incense, jasmine in incense, continuously permitting incense, burnished gold incense, white paste incense, green wood incense, fragrant mild incense, sweet pine incense, and chicken tongue incense. Grind these 10 ingredients to a fine powder Make a paste and smear it on the ground of the platform. The area should be 16 feet wide and octagonal in shape. Octagonal in shape. Commentary. Mix it with chandana incense, 
sinking in water in sense angaru jasmine in sense sumana continuously permitting in sense burnished gold in sense kunkuma white paste in sense green wood in sense fragrant mount in sense kundu ruka sweet pine in sense and chicken tongue in sense you mix the yellow earth with these ten kinds of incense. Grind these ten ingredient, ingredients into a fine powder. Make a paste and smear it on the ground of the platform. The area should be 16 feet wide and octagonal in shape. Sutra in the center of the platform. Place a lotus flower made of gold, silver, copper or wood. In the middle of the flower, set a bowl in which do that has collected in the eighth lunar month has been poured. Let an abundance, abundance of flower petals float on the water. Arrange eight circular mirrors in each direction around the flower and the bowl. Outside the mirrors, place 16 lotus flowers and 16 censers so that the incense burners are adorned and arranged between the flowers. Burn on a sinking in water incense and do not let the fire be seen. Commentary In the center of the platform, place a lotus flower made of gold, silver, copper, or wood. In the middle of the flower, set a bowl in which a dew that has collected in the eighth lunar month has been poured. Let an abundance of flower petals float on the water. Arrange eight circular mirrors in each direction around the flower and the bowl. Prepare eight circular mirrors and set them around the bowl of flowers so that they correspond to the eight directions since it is an octagonal platform. Outside the mirrors, place 16 lotus flowers and 16 censers so that the incense burners are adorned and arranged between the flowers. The 16, 16 flowers and the 16 censers are placed alternately around the platform. The incense burners should be adorned so they are, pleased, they are pleasing to look at. Burn only sinking in water incense and do not let the fire be seen. In the censers, burn this one kind of incense only. Do not let the fire be seen, means that the mirror and the flowers should not see the fire. In other words, the incense should be lit inside the sensor such that the flame is not visible in the mirrors or to the flowers. Sutra Place the milk of a white ox in 16 vessels, along with cakes made with the milk, rock candy, oil cakes, porridge, turushka, honeyed ginger, clarified butter, and filtered honey. These 16 are set around the, the outside of the 16 flowers as an offering to the Buddhas and great Bodhisattvas. Commentary Place the milk of a white ox in 16 vessels, along with cakes made with the milk. Some of the milk is mixed with flour and made into cakes. Also placed in the vessels are rock candy, oil cakes, porridge, a grow made with milk and rice, turushka incense, honeyed ginger, ginger, clarified butter and filtered honey. These 16 are set out the outside of the 16 flowers. Place one of the vessels in front of each flower so that each has one, making 16 in all. These are an offering to the Buddhas and great Bodhisattvas. Sutra, at every meal, meal time and at midnight, prepare a half pint of honey and three tenths of a pint of clarified butter. Set up a small incense burner in front of the platform. Decoct the fragrant liquid from the tushus to rushka incense and use it to cleanse the coals. The coals. Light them so that the ablaze bursts forth and toss the clarified butter and honey into the flaming sensor. Let it burn until the smoke disappears and 
present it to the Buddhas and Bodhisattvas. Commentary at every meal time and at midnight. It should be done during the day at meal times and also at midnight. Prepare a half pint of honey and three tenths of a pint of clarified butter. Set up a small incense burner in front of the platform. This is yet another burner, apart from the ones on the platform. It is placed in front of the platform. Decode the fragrant liquid from Turushka incense and use it to cleanse the coals. All the charcoal used in the burner should first be washed with the fragrant liquid obtained from Turushka, a very fragrant incense. Light them so that a blaze bursts forth. Light to burner so that the fire is strong and hot. Toss the clarified butter and honey in the flaming censer. Let it burn until the smoke disappears and present it to the Buddhas and Bodhisattvas. Take the end product and offer it to the Buddhas and Bodhisattvas. There are a lot of things like this in the secret school. They often burn combinations of honey and butter and offer them to the Buddhas. They burn not only that, but anything else of value, such as gold, jewels, and other valuable materials. They first burn them and then offer them to the Buddhas. Sutra about the four side walls. One should suspend flowers and flowers and within the room where the platform is located. One should arrange on the four walls images of the first commons and bodhisattvas of the ten directions. Commentary About the four outside walls, one should suspend flags and flowers. This refers to the four outer walls of the room in which the platform is located and within the room where the platform is located. One should arrange on the four walls images of the first commons and bodhisattvas of the ten directions. Sutra In the most prominent place, display images of Varukana Buddha, Shakyamuni Buddha, Maitreya Bodhisattva, Yashobhya Buddha, Amitabha Buddha, and all the magnificent transformations of Kwanin Bodhisattva. To the left and right, place the Vajrachajari Bodhisattvas. Beside them, display the Lord Chakra and Brahma, Uchushma and the Blue Durga, as well as Kundalin and Brukuti and all four heavenly kings with Vinayaka to the left and right to the door. Commentary in the most prominent place display images of Varukana Buddha, Shakyamuni Buddha, Maitreya Bodhisattva, Yashopya Buddha, Amitabha Buddha, and all the magnificent transformations of Kwani Bodhisattva. Varukana means pervading all places. Maitreya Bodhisattva is a next Buddha, the Buddha to be. He is the plump Bodhisattva. Yashopya Buddha is in the, the East. He is also known as Medicine Master Buddha. Yashopya means unmoving. The East is usually associated with movement, but the Buddha of the uh, East is unmoving. Amitabha means limitless light and limitless life. As to the magnificent transformations of Kwanin Bodhisattva, we have heard about them already in this sutra. In the passage that said, the Bodhisattva may have one head, three heads, five heads, seven heads, nine heads, eleven heads, or all one hundred and eight heads. It said he may have one hand, three hands, five hands, seven hands, nine hands, as many as one hundred and eight hands, a thousand hands, ten thousand hands, or eight four thousand hands. To the left and right, place the Vajrachajari Bodhisattva, the Dharma protectors. They have stern countenances, often terrifying the be to behold. Beside them, display the Lost Chakra and Brahma. Chakra is the Lord of the Heaven of the Thirty-Three. He is known as Good, 
God Almighty or the Heavenly God, Heavenly Lord. Brahma is Lord of the Great Brahma Heaven. Also display Usho's mind, the blue Durga, as well as the Kundalin and the Burukuti. Usho's mind is the fine head Vara. Blue Durga has a blue face and is a Dharma protector. Kundalin means releasing the knots of resentment. It is another name for a Vara spirit. Brukuti is also a Dharma protector, displayed as well images of four heavenly kings with Vinayaka to the left and right of the door. Vinayaka is another Dharma protector who is particularly ugly and frightening. The Chinese description is of two beings. Dharma protector Pina, who, was, who has a human body and a bronze head, and Dharma protector Ye Cha, who has a human body and an elephant's head and a long trunk. The Indian depictions show Vinayaka identified the god Ganesha, Ganapati, as one being possessing a human body with an elephant head. Vinayaka also appears as two standing beings with human bodies and elephant heads. The transformation into such bizarre appearances is intentionally in order to instill fear in people so they will have it themselves. At the door of the Bodhimanda, then these images are placed on both sides for protection.